Hey guys, it's Savannah here, back again with another deck review. This deck right here is the Hellions deck from the Confession series, so let's get right on in to the review. So this deck right here was the very beginning of the Confession series of four decks, and it led to the creation of the other three decks being created and kind of culminated into this series. These were ultimately inspired by David Blaine's Gatorbacks, which gave Madison the ideas for these cards, and is why all the Confession series decks, minus the Confession deck itself, has super intricate detailing and artwork. These decks are about truth, honor, freedom, and consequence, and they're the physical manifestations of the four faces of Madison. So off the bat, if we take a look at the tuck box itself, you'll notice that it is kind of upside down and backwards. So what I mean by that is a traditional deck is going to be presented as this the front, this is the top, and this is the bottom, and this is the back. However, this deck is presented in this manner where this is the front, this is the bottom, this is the top, and this is the back. So in the front of this deck, it's a nice red shade and it has Hellions in the middle of it with embossed devil's tail going around the side. The size of this tuck is minimalistic, with there not being any words on either side. On the top, you get a little Madison's logo right there, and on the bottom, you get some ad copy for Illusionist. On the back, we get a glimpse of the back design, which we'll get more into once we get inside the cards. On the flap right here, it says, as above, so below, with the triangle pointing down towards what we assume would be hell. And on the tuck flaps, there's a symbol for Lucifer and for God right here. And on the flap, you get a nice big Madison logo with devil tails in it. And then if you look at the very bottom of the tuck, it says sexy devil at the bottom, but you can't really see it that well. So now let's take a look at the back design. As we know, Daniel Madison is known for his traditionally minimal and simple designs, but this project really could not get across without intricacy and a credible detail. So as I said before, these decks were inspired by David Blaine's Gatorbacks, and they're very intricate and very nice detailing, so these are no exception. So within all this intricate artwork, you can see some devils in each of the four corners. You see a Madison logo on each half of the cards. And in these little circles right here, it says magic is dead. And it, then it, the other one says as above, so below. And you get that same kind of triangle figure that you see on the tuck flap. The back of this is all black and white, except for some of the red dots around it. Those are the only colors surrounding the border. So next we'll take a look at the jokers. These jokers are really cool because they overall really fit well with the theme. Uh, the one joker has a scroll and it's kind of like you're selling your soul to Madison or the devil. And so you signing right here gives your soul over to him. Then the other joker has a like quill and ink. It's got a nine of spades reveal on it and Oban Jones logo kind of right there. So Oban Jones, Daniel Madison teamed up to design this deck. This feather, however, is a raven's feather and it is homage to all of Daniel Madison's other decks, which generally feature a raven on the jokers themselves. This deck also comes with a double backer and a double backer that features uh, Daniel Madison's hand, but kind of like as the devil. So next we're going to take a look at the Ace of Diamonds. So in the Confession series, uh, the Ace of Spades is not the highlighted or Ace being brought to the forefront, and this deck is the Ace of Diamonds, so the Ace of Spades in this deck is standard. This Ace of Diamonds right here says, don't play cards with the devil, and has a nice devil in the middle of it with a little bit of intricate detailing around it. It looks really good and really goes along with the overall theme. So next we'll take a look at the core cards. Generally in Daniel Madison's decks, you get quartz that are alike to his friends, family, and other famous magicians, and this deck is alike the rest of them. So you see on the King of Diamonds you have Daniel Madison himself with a Nine of Clubs reveal in the hand. Your King of Clubs is Mark Calabrese. Your King of Spades is David Blaine. And your King of Hearts is Sage Francis. Now the rest of the quartz are standard looking, but if you notice, their eyes are closed on each of these. So that's very cool. So despite the color change and the eyes closing, they all look standard as well. So if we take a look through the rest of the number cards, you'll notice that they are all standard as well. Uh, the only real difference is that the pips in the middle are kind of smaller and receded in towards the middle. And the red cards have a nice little outline around the red, which really makes the red pop off the cards. Overall, I think the Confession series and the Hellions deck is one of the better decks that Daniel Madison has created in his career. I think the series as a whole are 
really awesome, really great. The stock of this deck is printed on a thinner casino cut, um, so it's gonna have a thinner feel in your hands, nice and springy, really easy to break in. The only deck in the Confession series that doesn't feel like the Hellions, Saints, or Martyrs is the Confession deck itself. It feels slightly thicker. I think the look of this deck is really great. Like I said, I think these are some of the best decks that Daniel Madison has created. Um, they really all go together super well, really stand together as a series, and each of the decks also stand alone very well, which is a very powerful thing to do when you're creating like a series of cards. I think the handling and feel of this deck is fantastic. It is on par with all the rest of the Confession series and is definitely something I would recommend adding to your collection. So thank you guys so much for watching my Daniel Madison Hellions deck review. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up right down below to let me know you guys liked it. Also, be sure to subscribe down below as well to be notified when my next deck review, unboxing, or other video is live. That's your only way to be notified. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about this deck right here, definitely leave those in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. All my social media links are down in the description box as well, so definitely go check those out. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with a brand new deck review, unboxing, or other video coming your way real soon.